but the work just started. Hallelujah. Remember, we came together to pray. Prayer chain. So as you get ready to go to your sites, please go and pray. Amen. Pastor Bill's was out there cutting up. I want to hear from uh, Peaches and Ron, too. So come on up. Let's hear about what took place at your site. You want your captains? Yeah, Sylvia. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm a captain of Hammerbird Road and Miller Road. And down at the rally today at noon, people were coming up and asking me before I talked with Geneva, where did you get those shirts? Where did you get those red shirts? lunch for the whole community. Uh, food Bank of Eastern Michigan uh, gave food, meat that they could take home. And one thing that, and we had our worship team out, we had this really um, live life uh, perf uh, perfect ministry that was there. But one thing I, I really noticed that the people of God was so open to the gospel. I mean, a lot of times we're asking them, well, do they want prayer? But we had a prayer in a, in a prophetic ministry team there. And I just really seen how um, the hand of God was just moving on the people. And they were really uh, receiving. And we were just really grateful for all the activity, the community coming through, that we could just service them and be a light to them. I am just really expecting God to do more and greater things as we uh, possess the city. Amen. And um, I'm just so proud, glad to be a part of it. Bless you. Praise God. The Pastor Bizzle, did you come up and share with the people? Boy, y'all looked at glorious out there. Pastor Bizzle and his wife. I'll yeah, praise God. Minister Riley. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Truly, this has been an exciting time. Uh, this is our third year out on the corner of Russell and Saginaw. And, uh, and when I got there, I saw this young man walking, you know, and um, I just jumped right on it. That's something unusual. But I guess I learned it from the advantage of the spirit, you know. That's the Holy Ghost bonus. Because, you know, <laughs> you, you know, you, you cannot be shy. And I asked him what they feel they were the church. He said, no. And I said, what? I did the door open when he said that. <laughs> Praise God. So I had a chance to witness to him. We shared our information. He got his, you know, address, information, everything. So we're going to do follow-up. I'm going to call him, you know. Praise God. So I thank God for this woman of God who, who helped us get out beyond the water. Because I had a lot of worry to me, but I wouldn't get it out, you know. And and I tell you, it, it, just, it just hit me like a turn of brick, you know. But it, it taught us how to get out and evangelize. So I thank God for her. And we are looking forward to next year to have a greater, bigger time in the Lord. Amen. I remember that scripture that said, that the Lord will draw you to great and mighty people. I don't know exactly how the phrase goes, but I remember we had a rummage sale at our church and this lady pulled up in the car and she gave us a CD of prayer chain day. And uh, you know, I always be prayerful and, I, and my sister said, I know her, that's Evangelist Spears. I'm like, prayer chain day? So as we watched it, uh, we got hooked up. Amen, so we got uh, hooked up to a great connection. Yeah, yeah, I tell you, you know, winning souls for Christ is, a, is awesome, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. And as we, we um, a smaller congregation, but we're mighty. Yes. And I, I thank God that we, he gives us to sing out on the street. And we be waving and singing. And people be looking. And one car almost had an accident looking. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I just thank God for that. And as we were singing, you know, some people try to run. They see you. They know what you're doing. They'll try to run. So we'll chase them. We'll God chase them. Amen. That's, that's, we got a song called God Chase. You know, they can't get by us if we're really people of God. 
Because God has ordained us to win souls and to change people's life. Amen. And um, I watched this lady. She was sitting on the look the bank, and uh, I said I kept looking at her, and I said, okay, she's standing there in the lawn I'm across the street. I kept looking. So I ran across the street, and as I began to witness with her, you know, people have all kinds of excuses that they don't come to church. And uh, as I began to witness to her, she wept, and she said, I'm, I'm waiting on my daughter. So when her daughter got out of the bus, they came, and we shared with them. And So I just thank God for that. I thank God for the opportunity that we have to witness. And uh, someone says, a Viper thing going on? Today, I said, but you know what we did was greater. Amen. You know what? I thank God that uh, people, hearts were changed. We may not even spoke nothing, but our presence. And I was telling the uh, uh, pastor the how I enjoyed that stage mobile. I believe it was a different anointing. I, and that was a powerful stage. And, and I want to tell y'all that a lot of people sung, but I tell you what, we need to honor our own. I tell you what, I've never felt anointing like Antoine's Ant family. Powerful. Let's back him. Don't burn his CD. Let's buy his CD. Amen? So we just thank God. Thank God for it. I'll be ready even more next year. And you know, we this pastor, let us use this corner. I ain't even affiliated with it, but we thank God. You know, see, he's going to be glad that one day he'll be out there with this. I don't mean to be long with it, but God is good. And you know what I just I said, you know what I felt? She was talking about church is chicken. I said, I'm going to give me some chicken. But then you know what? God is good. And I thank God for the connection that we have. You know, that's a powerful move of God that we can get together. All these churches, amen, on one Pacific day. And we're just going to believe that there are going to be more. Amen. amen. We love you. First of all, I'm going to say, let's give God praise for the visionary evangelist, Geneva Spirit. A visionary, a visionary. She never sought after titles. She never. She just did the work. And God has commissioned us to go beyond the walls and to do what we are doing today. And I believe God is going. It's going to be more than one year. I, I believe that it's a it's a coming that we're going to go out more than once a year. But we're starting. She just struck a match in our heart. God has commissioned us to go into the highways and the, and the byways and to compel men and women to come. My praise report is this, that it was about four or five of them today right in our section over there on the corner of, uh, it was, we were supposed to be on Addison, but we had to cross over, gave their hearts to the Lord. I'm talking about repentance. We wrote their names down so we can give a report back. We talked to them, we made it quick, we didn't do a, a long, long, because you can't keep them too long. You got to do what you got to do, plant that seed, pray, and move on. And God, he gives the increase. One water, the other plant, and God gives the increase. Pray the name of our awesome God. And I decree and declare that even as of this day, our lives will never be the same again, and we'll never look at our reach like the same the way we have in the past, and that we'll be about the kingdom business. Oh, could you put, okay, <laughs> okay, well watch if any more people come in and put some chairs out, okay, Sister Nate, Sister Nate, that's my grandson, yeah. Yeah. Sister Nate in full, Evangelist Nate in full, amen, and everybody say hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I thank God for this day. I, I thank God for life, health, and strength. And it was so amazing. I'd be happy when a festival, this jubilee time come. I, I, I just get happy because people look like they light up. But I just want to let you know, we're supposed to light up every day. It ain't just, uh, you know, it's jubilee. We're supposed to light up every day. We were down there at Brother's store and it was so amazing and the people saw us praying down there. Do you believe they was hiding their alcohol? They hid their alcohol so we couldn't see it. We were praying and healing took place down there at Brother's store.
love me. I love you too out there. What time is it? Jubilee time. God bless you. You know, we, every year, we come here and have dinner, and the doors are open, and uh, Pastor Jim, would you come up, please, and greet the people, uh, the, meet the shepherd of this great church, Pastor Jim. Praise God. Praise God. Could you come on up and have some words, please? We want to see who you are. This is the man. Take a good look at him. I'm just gonna, just gonna say that God already sees me, and God knows who I am, and that's what really counts. Um, actually, you know what was interesting? I was just talking to a lady out here, and I said I wanted to share an opportunity, but I said I don't want to interrupt anything. And then I said, I'll let God take care of it. And I'll be darned, I, as soon as I stopped saying that, you invited me up here. So, uh, yeah, it's like one of those things. Um, I'm really glad that you're here. My congregation, we were kind of schizophrenic today. I had a group getting leadership training up in Clio today. And so um, this is something we've been going through for some time. So we had that commitment. So it couldn't be two places at one time. But we were praying up where we were as someone was sharing with me. Well, you were still part of the prayer chain. So, that's a good thing. Um, the only other thing I want to share with you is that on September 28th, on a Saturday, we are offering a healing, a he, or hearing God seminar, which is a combination of, of, of prayer, uh, discerning and recognizing God's voice, listening to Him, and also on prophecy, both corporate and personal prophecy, receiving and giving it. And all I'm asking is that if you're interested, I just want to get a name and an email. I, have a, I don't have a printed brochures today, partly because our copier broke down. It must have been the devil. But um, seriously, we, we, uh, if you're interested, I've got a sheet here I can pass around just to get an email so I can uh, email you an electronic version of the brochure. So um, that's all about hearing God. Yes. How much more important than that. But thank you all for being here. You, uh, you, uh, you're, you bless us with your presence, your enthusiasm, God's presence and spirit working in you. And, and we are honored and privileged to have this group here today. So thank you. Amen. Thank you. We love Calvary. Uh, Pastor Beck, come on up and share. I always catch him by surprise. Praise God. Well, I have a, a job that blesses me. I get to go to a lot of the sites and talk with the people, get a comment from them, and it was just great today because everybody's so enthusiastic to share the love of Christ. This town needs Jesus Christ so bad. Yes, yes, yes. This town needs to turn its eyes towards heaven so bad. And it starts with us. We want revival in this town, and we wanted something bad, right? But that revival starts with me. It starts right here in my heart. This revival in Flint starts with you. It starts in Calvary. It starts in New Jerusalem. It starts at Bethesda yes. Temple. It starts in the church at Flint first. Yes. And what I see today buoys my spirit. The church of Flint is coming alive like yes. never before. Yes. The uh, enthusiasm we had, the participation we had, just makes me just makes me excited beyond all belief. I can't really tell you how excited I am today because of what God's doing. 